Hello viewers, welcome to Texta Diesel. Today we will design a clap switch circuit without triple 5 timer. Next we will add some component to make it music rhythm LED flashlight. And at last we will discuss the button principle of the circuit so that you can modify the circuit according to your requirement. So let's get started. Now to implement this circuit on this Vero board we will require some component. The component are a DC mic, a LED, a 2.2 microfarad capacitor, 2 BC547 transistor which is a NPN transistor, 2 10K ohm register, 1 1 ohm register, 1 ohm register a switch a 9 volt battery battery clip and some connecting wires now in this vero board i will make this rail to positive rail and this rail to negative rail and according to that i will connect those component First, I am going to connect this DC mic. Uh, this is a positive terminal of the mic and this is a negative terminal of the mic. According to that, I am connecting it. After that, I will connect this 10K ohm register which is R1 indicated here with the positive terminal of the mic and the positive rail. Next, with the help of jumper wire, I am connecting the negative terminal of the mic to negative wire. Now I am connecting this 2.2 microfarad capacitor with the circuit and this should be the positive terminal of the capacitor and this should be the negative terminal of the capacitor. So I am connecting the positive terminal of the capacitor with the positive terminal of the mic as shown. After that, I will connect this 1 mega ohm register. Next, I will connect this Q1 transistor, which is a BC547 NPN transistor in common emitter mode. Now, how to identify the base, collector, and emitter terminal of this transistor? Now, to identify the terminal, if I place the transistor in this way, let me show you the car portion in this side. If I draw this, if I place the car portion in this side, then the first terminal should be collector, middle terminal should be base, and last terminal should be emitter. Thus, we can identify the three terminal of this transistor by placing the carb portion in this side. So, now I have to connect this transistor with this Vero board. After that, I have to connect this 10K ohm register with the collector of the first transistor. Next, with the help of jumper wire, I am connecting the emitter with the negative rail. Now, I have to place the next transistor which is Q2 and also BC547 transistor. Now, I have to connect this LED. This is a positive terminal of the LED and this is a negative terminal. The positive terminal should go to positive rail and the negative terminal should go to collector of the second transistor. Now with the help of a jumper wire, I have to connect the collector of the first transistor to the base of the second transistor. Now I have to connect this 27 ohm resistor to the emitter of the second transistor and 
the negative rail. Now I have to connect this switch as shown in the circuit. And after that I have to connect these two terminal with the help of a jumper wire. Now I have to give the supply to the circuit with the 9 volt battery. I have to connect the positive and negative terminal of the battery as shown in the circuit. Now if I turn on the switch, the circuit is ready. Now if I clap, the LED will glow for a certain period. You can see that LED is glowing after clap. Now if I want to increase the turn on period of this LED, I have to increase this capacitance. I have used 2.2 microfarad capacitor earlier. Now if I use 22 microfarad capacitor, the turn on period time of this LED will increase. Let me connect the capacitor. Now I am using 22 microfarad capacitor. Again I am turning on the switch. So let me clap. Now you can observe that the turn on period of this LED has increased than previous. So thus we can change the turn on period time of this LED. Now if I want to decrease the turn on period time then I have to reduce the capacitance. Now I am connecting a 100 nanofarad capacitor with this circuit. Now if I clap you can see the turn on period time has reduced. Now I am going to connect these two parallel path to convert this circuit to music rhythm LED flashlight. So here you can see each parallel path containing a LED, a transistor and a 27 ohm resistor. Now after connecting these two parallel path, the main circuit will look like this. So let me connect, we will require two more LED for this, two transistor and two 27 ohm register. So let me connect it, I am connecting the yellow LED, same manner as I have shown in this circuit. Next I have to connect this BC547 transistor and a 27 ohm resistor. Now again with the help of jumper wire I have to connect the base of these two transistor with the collector of the Q1 as shown in the circuit. Now in the same way I have to connect the second parallel path. Now again I have to connect the base of this Q4 to collector of Q1. Now our music rhythm LED flashlight circuit is completed. Here you have to use always a small amount of capacitance. I have used here 100 nanofarad. Now if I play any sound, the LED will turn on and turn off according to amplitude of the sound. Let me show you. Now if I talk about the working principle of this circuit, after receiving the sound, this mic generates a small signal which is used to turn on this Q1 transistor and the signal will amplified by this Q1 and it is fed to Q2 
Q3 and Q4 base terminal so that according to this transistor will turn on after receiving this base signal and the LED can glow. So does this circuit is operate if you want to use any higher rating lamp like CFL lamp LED lamp you have to change this rating of the transistor accordingly. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like the project and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thank you.